Right, we're gonna descend here. Ta-da! Hey guys, what's up? LD Shadow Lady here and welcome back to Shadowcraft. Last episode we got a couple of pet squirrels and they're currently just residing in my bedroom up there. So we need to build them a little place to live and I thought we'd kill two birds with one stone. And uh, we'd also extend my house at the same time. So you guys wanted me to build a little tree house for them to live in so I thought it'd be cool if I built a big tree here and had it branch off from my house so that the tree is part of the house and we are at one with nature. So the first thing we need to do is just build a big old tree. I don't know if we have enough wood to replicate a huge tree. We do not, so I think it's time to chop down a tree or two or 50 or so. That looks like a good place to chop trees. Oh, oh, I hate when this happens. Oh, why don't we stop up at the smoothie star on the way? Hey, Pepe, I'm just gonna grab a smoothie to go. Oh, a banana smoothie, apparently that's what has been given to me. <laughs> Pepe's decided, it's Pepe's special of the day. Let's chop this down. Oh, that's so much better. Oh, we've got an apple too. Today is a healthy day. There's a mole. I shall leave him be to do his moly things. Right, how do we get over there? How do we transverse this huge body of water? Gee, I don't know, Lizzie, maybe you should swim. Wow, there are a lot of elephants around here. Oh, hey, need some beef. No. Okay, if you insist. No, I cannot have any beef. Okay, there's a turkey. Wow, it's kind of funny because it was Thanksgiving the other day, so I guess you guys got pardoned, huh? Lucky you. Oh my gosh, look at all these turkeys. <laughs> They've taken over, guys. Oh, will you give me some wood if I chop you down? Oh, no, that's a terrible idea. Just gonna get out of here now and pretend I did not try to do that. Ooh, this tree. This would be good. Ta-da! Whoa! That will never get old. I love seeing the tree fall before me. And then replanting it so it grows a baby tree. Okay, we should have just enough wood now. And oh, dang, we also need leaves. And now I'm not just gonna leave this here like this. I'm gonna have to chop this down too. <laughs> oh, it's like a totem pole. A very bland totem pole. Ah, the day grows weary and my inventory grows full. So I'm, I can't move. What's happening? Why am I not moving forward? <laughs> so let us enjoy our smoothie, which we received from Pepe and sleep. Oh my gosh, my squirrels are so weird. What are you guys doing? What? Where'd he go? What just happened? Wait, how'd he get down here? Ariel, what the heck? Oh, he's so cute sitting on the chair. I can't, I can't move her. Okay, let's leave her there while we walk into the door. Build the tree house. The tree house is complete. It is very flowery, as you can see. So let me give you a tour of what it looks like on the inside. Obviously the entrance to the tree house is in here. I had to alter the staircase a little bit to accommodate for this lovely grand entrance. And just because we live in a tree doesn't mean we can't be fancy. We still have chandeliers all over this place. Lighting it up. I think we'll also make some fairy lights for in here because it just isn't complete without fairy lights. So I think this might be where we keep some of our animals. Hopefully they can't escape. I couldn't escape even if I tried. So if they escape, then they deserve it because they've outsmarted me. So this is the main area. We've got a little bit up here where you can climb up the vines. A lot of this moving around in the treehouse involves climbing up vines, but they just look so cool. I thought I would use them all the time. So finally, we've got an area up here as well at the very tippy top of the treehouse, which has a nice little lookout onto the landscape and also a chandelier. So I think we should first of all make some fairy lights for up in here and then we should start decorating this place to give it a more homely feel because right now it still feels kind of like a tree. So what color fairy lights shall we use? I'm thinking, uh, what colors do we have here? Pink, let's use pink lights. Wait, we can do two colors. What about pink and purple? That would be cool. So let's get some of our string and we're gonna need iron ingots. And if we put some glowstone with it, then it should twinkle. So let's see if this will work. Oh, pink and magenta lights and the glowstone. 
We'll make them twinkle. Let's try out two of those. And then, oh, can we have white lights? Ooh, white lights. Add that twinkle. And let's see what these look like. I hope these lights look as beautiful as that sunset. So where the heck should we put these? Some pink lights going from here to here. Oh, <gasps> that's amazing. What do these white lights look like? I wonder if they will actually look pretty cool. Oh yeah, they're pretty cool. Kind of like those. Ta-da. Oh, that's nice. This place looks so lovely. Here. Oh my gosh, I died. <laughs> my wings broke and I died. And that's sad. Ugh, don't you just hate it when your wings break mid-flight? So annoying. Let's get our final set of lights across here. And that looks fabulous, my dear. So, we're gonna get some furniture in there. <gasps> Why don't we have a bunk bed in there for the guests that we have, you know, all the time because they have so many friends and stuff. So I've crafted a few items for us to decorate the treehouse with, but first of all, I wanna try out this doorbell on my own house. And I know nobody visits me. Visitors? I know nobody visits me, but just in case a miracle does occur one day, or if Esteban grows hands, then he can press the doorbell to notify me of his presence. <gasps> it's a ding dong. Dingly dongly. So that works. I'm probably gonna use that all the time for entering my own house. So the first thing I'm gonna place is this little birdhouse. I thought it'd be nice to have a bird, dang it, birdhouse up in the tree house because I've kind of taken the birds home away by building a tree house here. So it'd be nice to give something back. But I'm also gonna place around some of these squirrels. <laughs> They're just so weird. They kind of creep me out, but I thought it'd be cute since it's a little tree house we had some little squirrels roaming around so just gonna put these all over the place let's put a squirrel here so they're everywhere okay so as you can see I've got a hammock here I'm not really sure where would be the best place to hang this Ooh, and then we put the hammock on it oh <gasps> that is cool all right so that should function as an actual bed when it comes to the right time to sleep lizzie but where the heck should we put this little seat how about up here this is quite a nice view actually of the whole area wow you really can see everything from here cool so i think we'll put a little chair here wait hang on this would be cool across here Ta -da! oh that's really nice so let's test drive our hammock <laughs> Or rather test sleep our hammock while it's night time. And of course it works perfectly. So today I wanted to get some pets for the treehouse, but I'm not really sure what kind of pets would be at home in the treehouse. And I've been seeing a lot of elephants around lately, so I think I'd like to try and tame an elephant instead. So to tame an elephant, we're gonna need some sugar cubes. I don't think we have that much sugar because we never really started a sugar farm. So Let's grab all the sugar that we can find. Oh, hello. What the heck? Wait, what? What? Why is a tree grown? How has this happened? Who, what? What's going on? I'm so confused. What's going on? Why is there flowers here? Who's built a tree? There's a tree man trapped inside here. And he's gone and blooming planted a tree in me farm. He's pooped out some saplings and it's had an adverse effect on my farm. Oh well, we came for sugar cane, so let's get this. Now, there's definitely some more sugar cane around. I just need to locate it. So let's just go on a little sugar cane adventure and try and find an elephant calf on the way because you can only tame the calves. Once they've grown to their full size, they will no longer be interested in your sugar lumps or any of your lumps for that matter. How do you make a sugar lump? Let's see. Ah, okay, so still need more sugar cane. We could have also chosen to feed, wait, is that a baby elephant? I think it is, but we don't have the sugar yet. We could have also chosen to feed them five cakes. But I'm not Martha freaking Stewart, and I can't make five cakes just like that. So, we got ten. Let's see if our elephant friend wants to... What the heck? Do you want these sugar lumps? What the heck? This is not a baby elephant. This is a grown elephant. Are you kidding me? What if we pretend this guy is a little baby elephant? Come here. Come here. 
Baby elephant. Baby elephant loves me more than you do. Time to go home, baby elephant. It's over here somewhere. See, there's the Ice King, where all the penguins live, and there's that hole that's there for no explicable reason. Here's the creepy island that the cat lives on, and here's your home, Moon Island. Ta-da! Baby elephant's at home now. Okay, I think I'm gonna go spend one more night in the hammock before we go off to look for the baby elephant. Let's see if any of these ones in the water are baby elephants. I think they're all too big. They look rather large. Oh, this one, this one, this one's definitely a baby. It's gotta be. What? You're not a baby? Ah! <gasps> Lucky box, but they're surrounded by netherrack. And you guys have told me that these are bad ones, but I can't resist opening them. <laughs> Just gonna have my sword out ready and What? That wasn't bad. We got music discs. But I don't fancy my look for the second one. We're still gonna do it anyway. Oh, pumpkins. I guess they're kind of good, so I'll keep them. Those didn't turn out so bad in the end. Maybe luck is on my side, and now we will find a baby elephant. Two hours later. So many elephants, so few ba- Oh my gosh, I just hit it. <gasps> I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to. I was just frustrated, you know? I didn't mean to- Ow, ow, sorry. I don't want to kill it. I don't I'm just, I'm just gonna leave because there's nothing I can do. I think I might have jinxed my karma when I hit that elephant and now I'm probably not gonna find one. <gasps> Spoke too soon. Okay, where, where are you? Let me give you my shovel lumps. Take the shovel lumps, be my friend. Yay! I have the perfect name for this little cutie. As suggested by one of you guys last week, Elfheart is just, what the heck is going on? That's not a cute noise for such a cute animal with a cute name, okay, Elfheart. Okay, let's get out of here before that elephant that I accidentally hit comes back. I think this is the way home. 20 minutes later. Um, yeah, I might have lost my house. So I'm just taking my elephant for a bit of a, a fly around so we can find it again. <gasps> Wait, I spy the Ice King. We're almost there, Elfheart, don't worry. Right, we're gonna descend here. Ta-da! What a beautiful dive, Elfheart. You are so good at this swimming thing, for an elephant especially, so let's get you around the front here. What if we can get Elfheart inside the house and then we can get her in the tree trunk? I think that'd be a cool place for her to live. We did it! We got Elfheart. Elfheart. Elfheart is securely inside the tree trunk. And I think it'd be really cool to have quite a few more animals roaming around here like the squirrels because the tree being here just makes me feel like I'm in touch with nature and I'm just ready to have squirrels roaming around the kitchen, you know? So I think we'll take all of our leads. So we've got six and let's bring back as many animals as we can from the twilight forest. Ali oop. Aha! How about you? I'll take you with me, a cute little bunny. Anybody else wanna come home with LD Shadow Lady? How about this deer? I'm not sure if it's kind of wise to be having a deer roaming around, but we'll try it. You can come with me. I feel like we're gonna have one of every kind of animal. Let's see if we can find a couple more bunny. Oh, here's one, but it's identical to the white one. So he's got a twin. Ah, I've lost all the animals. Oh no, what the heck? Here's all my leads. Well, we've got the deer here. Where did the bunny go? Where did they both go? <gasps> a bat! Okay, we don't really want to take a bat with us. <gasps> bunnies! Oh my goodness, bunnies. Hello. No, 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 don't run away. No, please, 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 please. Yay, got it. Hmm. Oh, there's another bunny here. Hello. Aha, got you. And then this must be the white bunny from before, but there was another one. Where did he go? How could I have let this happen? Ooh, what is that? <gasps> what is that? It's a cute bird! I need it, I need it. Come back here. There's so many of them. Oh, I caught one. I caught a little blue one. Did I get it? I got it. Now let's take them all home. Hopefully we can get them all to go into the portal. Get in. Get in there. All of you. Aha. The bird's gone too. Okay, everyone's in. Now we had to give them all some names. So I'm just going to pick some suggestions that you guys left in the comments because you guys are way better naming things than I am. If I named them all, they'd probably all be called Poopy Bud. So we've got four name tags here for our new little friends. We just 
have to find them so we can name them. So where did that little brown bunny go? Because I have the perfect name for him. Oh, he seems to like the globe as well. And he is going to be called Chocolate Chip because he looks like a little chocolate chip. And I think he's stuck. Oh, there's the bird. Okay, I'm going to give the bird the name Tinker. <gasps> That's just such a cute name for a little tiny bird. But he's so freaking silly. He just keeps flying around all over the place. <gasps> Maybe if we had a birdhouse in here, he would be happy. Here you go, Tinker. Where'd you go? I've got a birdhouse for you. What the heck are you doing here? Oh, here, I'm going to put the birdhouse. So that is for you, Tinker. I'm going to give him the name Magic. Such an elegant name for such an elegant creature. Now, finally, we've got our little white bunny around here somewhere. He will be named Fluffy Pants just as soon as we find him. There are only so many places to hide in this house, but these animals seem to find them all. How did you get up here so fast? Here you go. He loves the Pokeball. Well, now that we've got our new fluffy friends all freshly named, I'm going to end this episode of Shadowcraft. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to leave a like if you would like to see more episodes. Also, please leave a comment with some suggestions for things to do in future episodes. And I will see you next time. Oh my goodness. Shama Lama Ding Dong. Loads, I tell you. And we're also going to need a diamond as you need